welcome to a get ready with me and I tried Dylan. Um, Let's get ready with me and D. Get ready with me and D. You're welcome, that was great. That was pretty good. So we had some questions that we're going to answer and I'll be using all Tarte products because I love Tarte. How much of The Bachelor is fake? I'll tell you probably 99% of it, including us. It's a big part of it. It's just like going on. Living your life. Looking up with chicks. No, no. You just go on and you live normal life, but I, there's a little black box that fa fathers you. <laughs> black box fathers. It did father you. <laughs> the black box follows you around and you just live your life. Speaking of black boxes, I had a very generous one. No, no. I'm moisturizing my face. Oh, when are you getting married? Whoa, only one person only, asked that question. Wow, that is the only person that's ever asked that question. It's <laughs> so insane. Um, when are we getting married? I wouldn't mind an early summer wedding, maybe like June 27th of 2021. <laughs> Why not? We got engaged on June 27th. My there parents got married on June 27th. That was just a coincidence, I think. Rainforest of the Sea Foundation. It's a water-based foundation. Dill loves this one. He raves about it all the time. Um, but no, for real, I like this stuff. I'm gonna use this beauty blender and Get ready. I know y'all are gonna roast me on how gross my beauty blender is. Is it that gross in person? No, I've used it. Yeah, you have it. No, I did use it. Okay. <laughs> I don't have a mirror. This might not be no, the best idea. It. When is Dylan gonna propose? <laughs> what is your biggest pet peeve that the other person does. Oh, yes. okay, let's get into this. Let's really, let's tear this up. Do you wanna go first or want me to go first? I'll go first. We are always late. We? And then, yeah, you are always late. <laughs> I will tell us the time, I'll even subtract 30 minutes from the time just so we get there on time. But then, it doesn't, like, Hannah thinks Time should stop while she's doing her contour. Time does stop. <laughs> it does stop. That's the thing. And then she looks up and it's five minutes before we have to leave and her hair is wet. And then it's my fault because I didn't tell her we were leaving in five minutes. So we've had a conversation, a few conversations. You're pretty understandable about it, but um, one of the first things whenever we hung out after the show, I guess, he said something about like, it's kind of like taking you a long time to get ready. And I was like, glam shaming. Glam shaming is the mm -hmm. one thing. We do not glam shame in this house. We don't glam shame in this house. And you've been pretty good at it. Because I would hate to be glam shamed. Wait, I think you just glam shamed me. No. No. I definitely didn't. <laughs> Your neighbor thinks we're so weird. Do you just walk by? Is he looking inside? I made eye contact. Where the f is my shape tape? Moving on to Tarte Shape Tape. This stuff is amazing. My shade is Fairlight Neutral. My biggest pet peeve about Dylan Matthew Barber. It's like a love-hate thing, but sometimes nobody gets his humor. Uh, most of the time. Well. The people who get it, I'm like, you have a great sense of humor, but sometimes people don't get it. A majority of the people don't get it. And it's very uncomfortable. He'll be like, yeah, Hannah was dancing on tables last night at the charity event or something. And I'm like, he said it, you said that this morning. To and my I, mom. To his mom. And I said, no, I didn't actually. It, I don't know where it comes from. He just thinks funny, so he just like laughs about it. I think it's something that just puts me in an awkward position at all times, but I, like whenever people do get the joke, I think it's funny. It is funny. It's simple. I'm hilarious. I'm probably one of the funniest people on this planet. 
There's a lot of, yeah, there's a lot of, are you pregnant? Dylan said you are. What's up with Dylan's caption? Are you it, pregnant? Okay. Are you pregnant? Are you engaged? Are you pregnant? See, it's another thing. It's him just saying something that gets a reaction or he thinks is funny or his humor ties to it when, you know, people, people don't know what he's good at. So I don't have a Tarte um, setting powder, so I'm just gonna place a little powder on my face. This is from Amanda Burns, but I thought it was Amanda Bynes, and I was like, no way. I miss her. I, Amanda Bynes' show was my favorite show. Yes. I Do you like, remember the bathroom scene? I, the I girls' like, room. I like eggs was like, <laughs> I, said that, I said that every day. Still, to this day, I think it's on that picture over there. It says, I like eggs on that picture. <laughs> I like eggs. What are cute nicknames you have for each other? That's a good one. Wait, let's see if, okay, at the same time, if we can say the nickname that we, wait, at the same time. Okay. One, two, three. Bean. Bean. Yeah. We say like, hey Bean, or like, how you doing Bean? I don't, it's not even like to be like cutesy or cute. Where did it come from? I don't know. We're just a couple little, little beans. We're just beans. And when we're tired, we're like, we're just some tired beans. Tarte palette contour shade. And we say buddy sometimes. So. Bud and buddy. Buddy. I know y'all want a dog, but what specific breed? There are really four options. Husky. Love huskies. <laughs> Golden doodle. Yeah. Golden doodles are adorable. They're just big puppies, essentially. Hannah wants a golden doodle. Dalmatian, because I don't think, literally no one has Dalmatians. When do you see a Dalmatian on the street? They're, they're really fun and Never. cute. They and they're super energetic. <clears throat> and then golden retriever. I think we definitely want to um, look into doing a rescue dog. Yeah, it, it depends where we are. If we live in LA, we'll get one from a rescue. If we're down in San Diego, uh, the animal pad is amazing. Love what they do. They go down to Mexico and just like, take dogs from shelters down there and bring them up to the US. Dylan, how did you get Visor app running so quickly and successfully? We have been working on it for like two years. It like didn't really take catch on until like a few months ago. Um, but just a lot of meetings, a lot of, you kind of do everything. So there's no one like kind of doing their own thing. Everybody's on the same team. So we're big fans of that. Ooh, what's the best thing Dylan has surprised you with? You're really good at surprises. One of my favorites was the time that we went to Sunset Cliffs. It's these beautiful cliffs in San Diego and he just like had a little picnic for me and he got me a little cake and it was for my half birthday. We were in hiding so we were wearing like hoodies around and like being really like careful because we didn't want to get caught. And um, and it was just really cute. And he got, oh, he got me, my favorite color is pink. And he bought an entire pack of candles and only grabbed out the pink one just so he could put one little pink candle in it and sing me happy birthday. Did you sing me happy birthday? No, we listened to John Mayer. Oh, just so we could listen to John Mayer and I could blow out a candle for my half birthday. So that was cute. Take notes, boys. Documenting. Um. Also another great surprise, on Paradise, Hannah hates seafood. So one of the dates, I blindfolded her and had like a taste test thing. Then I had a plate full of shrimp and octopus and then gummy sharks. And I was like, uh, it's kind of messed up if I just like give her gummy sharks right now. Keep and it, keep it going. No, I was like, oh, if you're doing anything. So Do then, your thing, girl. So then, I was like, you have to trust me, it's a shark, like it's a, it's a Mexican, like, delicacy. I was like, you gotta try it, trust me, blah, blah, blah. She's like, I don't know. And I was like, trust is a big thing in a relationship, you just have to try it. And then she went to try it and found out it was a gummy thing. Super cute. Happy I didn't give her the shrimp and octopus, because she probably... I wouldn't have trusted you. Would have not trusted me. Easy. How many kids do you guys want? Mm. Three, at least... Two boys, one girl, or two girls, one boy. Yeah. We or if we get a boy, if we got a boy and a girl, then we might just pause. But I think we both definitely want like boy and girl. Going boy girl would be awesome because in the last one you can't lose. 
It's very <laughs> That's a little messed up. I'm gonna go in with Lele, Lele Pon. Wait, Lele. Sorry, I should probably not say it like that. I'm going in with Lele Pon's X Tarte palette. They sent me this. Um, and Dylan, okay, wait, let's ask you, what color should I do today? I feel like we're going out during the day. So today, you think that? Or boo boo cakes? Mmm. Um, mmm. Okay, I'm gonna start with pina colada. What the so, fuck? I'm gonna start with pina colada and place on my lid. Then I'm gonna do a little bit of boo boo cakes, and then I'll pop in some Miami all over it, dust it, just to like give it a little yellow tone or something. Oh my god, I just smelled it. <laughs> that was insane. I've never seen anything like that in my life. I'm not going to. God. Yes, you are. I can't. Hannah. I have a cold. Friday and Saturday of last week were long nights for us. Okay, wait, let's talk about the engagement party. I'm gonna have to crop that out or something. That's like kind of embarrassing. We had our engagement party last weekend. It was great. Friday night we went out to Tom Tom. Arguably the best bar in LA. Like it was so Very fun. fun. So fun. I had so many friends from um, like Alabama come out and a lot of them have never been to California before and I was kind of stressed before. I was like, how am I going to have time to hang out with everybody? Like, I just want to like spend time with everybody and luckily everybody just got along so I hung out with everybody the whole time which was amazing. Yeah, our friends loved each other. All my friends from high school came and from middle school and elementary school we just like revert to being 14 again. It's a blast. We had an entire bathtub. His mom came up with this idea of Champagne, which was amazing. We had cookies that my friends made that had all like really unflattering pictures of me. <laughs> it was all like blackmail pictures of him. Like everybody was just having such a good time. Like it was very drama free, like. No drama. No drama. Very few times you have an event where there's no drama. <laughs> so I kept doing this thing <clears throat> during the party. I kept having like bathroom meetings and I was like guys we have to go to the bathroom and like have a meeting and we would just like go in there and like eat pizza and have meetings. So that was my thing. What's your thing? I kept yelling that we were gonna live forever. I'm adding Miami now. Just for you. That's actually really pretty. Dill, good job buddy. You picked a really nice like shade. Oh, do you and Dylan wish you met somewhere else besides Bachelor in Paradise? Hmm. No. I'd say no, but we do talk about it. I feel like a lot where we're like, how in the world did we meet on a TV show? Like, yeah, you just meet people at different times. Like, you meet people in a bar, you people meet people at like a wedding, like all this stuff. But like, it is pretty wild to think that we actually met on Where's like it? a TV show in yeah. Mexico. It was all part of the plan. The master plan. He has I, a master plan. I had a master Diane. plan. This is his party trick. This is his master plan. Hannah essentially trapped on a beach with me for a month. And I knew we would fall in love. And then here we are. <laughs> so you knew who I was before the show. I knew who you were. No, you didn't. <laughs> I, I said I, let, I have proof somewhere that I was like, the guy in the white tux? Like no, but that was my season. That was after we already filmed. Oh yeah, so I didn't know who you were. Yeah, so we, before I went on the show, I obviously watched because I didn't know who The Bachelor was going to be. And I followed one person on Instagram after the first episode, and it was Hannah. And then a week later, I was like, what am I doing with my life? I'm quite literally never going to meet this girl, so I just unfollowed her. But I didn't know who she was. He followed and then unfollowed me. I'm using my favorite eyeliner. Y'all know I love this. It's by Tarte. I use this literally every day. I feel like it's fairly easy to apply. Dylan doesn't judge me on my wing. So, stick into it. I'm going to do it right here because um, it's a struggle. Where was your first date after Bachelor in Paradise? Well, we had to be careful about going on dates because obviously we couldn't spoil the show. Sunset Cliffs or Gondola. Do you oh, <laughs> <laughs> We've never talked about that. So it's kind of private. Yeah, our driver was from San Diego State. He had to have been 21. It's hilarious. The biggest frat bro of all time. He just cracked me up. It was very romantic. 
Yeah, it's the antithesis of being in secret. <laughs> Man eater mascara, I'm gonna pop this on really quick. What's your favorite makeup style on me? If you have one. I like glowy, but also just like minimal. You like when it's less makeup? Yeah. Or just simple? Yeah, just simple. That's probably my favorite. Okay. <laughs> Is this simple? Yeah. Okay. Look great. I'm just gonna use this color by Tarte. It's a nude. And it's moisturizing. So I'm like kissable. Does that look okay? Mm -hmm. Then I'm gonna use this and spray my face because we got the gulp. Okay, my camera died, so back on the iPhone. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this, and I had so much fun answering questions. We're going on a date. We're gonna go on a date now. Get some sushi at the beach. Be sure to like and subscribe, and also thank you Tarte for sending me all these fun products and um, letting me try them out all the time. I love Tarte, so bye guys.